Did you guys know about Mark's story before you took on this project? No, mm -hmm. we were just talking about that. Mm -hmm. I think we both read the script. Mm -hmm. um, we're very shocked by seeing like this is based on true events, a true story, and then watch the documentary mm -hmm. and I think just blown away. Yeah. Um, one, by not knowing about it and also just, you know, how could anybody do that mm -hmm. to, 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 to any human being? And, and, and the fact that Mark was able to just turn his trauma through art therapy uh, into a triumph, you know, um, was so inspiring and I think a, a story that we we all wanted to just make sure it got told. You know, I thought it was such a cool way of conveying what addiction, and, and that includes bad relationships, for example, mm. because in a way they have this really weird mm. relationship where they're codependent on each other, you know. Mm. Um, addiction to drugs and, and just how how it can seem like the right thing and, and, and you realize that you need to stop the thing that you think helps you the most to mm. feel that pain, go through the darkness to come out to the light, you know, and mm. what a cool way artistically to show that. How do you think Mark would react to the movie? I hope he's proud. Yeah. I think we all are emotionally invested in his story and wanted to do, you know, justice to what, what, what he had built. Um, this was real for him, you know, and uh, I think we all wanted to handle things with care. It's just really uh, inspiring that he was able to use art. I'm an artist as well. We're both artists, and you know, I think we we use our art to deal with our pain and our emotions. Um, but I don't know what I would have done if I had gone through something that dramatic. I don't, I don't, I don't know if I if if I could have, you know, done. Of, uh, an alternate world and mm -hmm. and really um, healed from that, but he right. did, right. and we have that mm -hmm. to be inspired by. My grandmother passed maybe a few, a month after I, I wrapped um, this film. Mm -hmm. My grandfather asked me to come down to her basement, mm -hmm. and they didn't know, he didn't know that I had shot this film. Mm -hmm. I went down there, and she had a whole downstairs area full of little doll houses oh, wow. that she had made. The real living rooms and beds, and she had at least maybe 12 of them, you know, lined up. She had used um, uh, these dolls and these doll houses uh, as therapy. Uh, and I and I was just like, I'm so happy I did this film. I'm so happy I, I I was a part of this because Mark and my grandmother, everybody should should, you know, if you're going through something traumatic, um, here's another way out, and I'm so happy that she could she could do this.